Hi, this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior and the Pot Cake Project. And today I wanted to talk about kind of the, the span of fear and reactivity. So one of the forums I'm on, um, a woman posted that she's been working with her reactive dog and now instead of him approaching whatever the stimulus is, another dog or a person or whatever, and giving a big huge threat display, now her dog is holding up and then backing away. Um, some people were kind of taking her to task on this and saying, well, you're just replacing one fearful response with another. And I would actually, with my whole soul, just disagree. Um, it's fight, flight, or freeze, right? And so in thinking about this, I was thinking in terms of just puppies, right? So Marco is an eight month old adolescent puppy. Um, in the beginning, when something was scary, he would just stop and look at it, right? Freeze. Then he would move away, which was an ideal scenario, rather than involve himself in a conflict or push himself into aggression, I want him to remove himself from a scary situation. Now, I'm gonna pay attention to that information and we're gonna work on making him more comfortable with whatever the stimulus is, but what I don't want is for him to Tarzan into a scary situation and end up getting himself into a situation where he needs to bite. And this is where fear and aggression get really muddy for people because they're not good at seeing the run away, they're really good at seeing the holy crap he's hanging off the neighbor. Um, so, um, I personally believe, I have no science to back this up, it'll be interesting to see what you all say, um, that when your dog is afraid of something, what if instead of encouraging them to move forward and investigate the, whatever the thing is, you encourage them to bail and, and move away from it? What would happen? My experience with Marco is that if I go, oh no, that's scary, you should probably get away from that, what a good boy you are for removing yourself from the situation, that he actually, on his own, will over time become more comfortable and go and approach the scary thing and then eventually laugh at it and decide it's not a big deal. Um, this has definitely been true of the bathtub. Um, we now have a dog who many times a day jumps in and out of the bathtub on his own. Sometimes he slips and falls and he recovers from that. Sometimes he has to really get, geek himself up to decide it's okay to get in the bathtub, but he does it and no one's touching him, no one's forcing him, he's figuring it out on his own. And so um, I just wanted to talk about this fear and fear aggression. It's very easy to misunderstand why a dog is doing something. and. And damn it, the why matters. There's a huge difference between your child having a temper tantrum, <laughs> he's being naughty back there, um, having a tenter, temper tantrum because he or she is just grumpy or because they're exhausted or because they're having a diabetic low. You treat those things differently. And the same thing is true in my experience with aggression. If the aggression is fear-based, which in my experience 99.9% .9 of it is, the other one-tenth of a percent is generally medical, um, then you have the keys to the castle, you can fix it. You can make your dog's world bigger. You can make your world bigger. Your dog doesn't have to suffer, you don't have to suffer, and nobody has to get hurt. Your dog doesn't have to get hurt. Um, and I'm not saying it. I just am because, you know, I learned it the other way before and you know what? It costs dogs their lives. So yeah, I'm a believer. Okay. So enough preaching for today. Um, this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior in the Pot Cake Project and my diatribe on fear and fear aggression. I'm crazy interested to hear what you have to say. You know, when your puppy, when your pot cake is afraid of something, do you encourage them to approach it or do you encourage them to move away? And try it for a week the other way, preferably moving away, and see, does that help? So if you're enjoying this series, please like us on Facebook. You can share the videos, and you can subscribe on YouTube. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.